Nick. I've had a truly wonderful life, filled with countless blessings, many of whom are here in the room today. Yet I always hoped I would someday find that truly special someone uh, with whom I could build an even more beautiful life. And then you came along. I was struck by your kindness, your intelligence, your ambition, work ethic, good humor, your beauty. And the more I've gotten to know you, uh, the more I have grown to love you. From the first time that I looked in your eyes, I felt like I had come home from a long journey. As we were getting to know each other, I would sometimes wonder what part of you it was that made you so amazing. Your heart, your intelligence, your sense of humor. One day I realized, and it just clicked, it's your soul. And your soul radiates through every aspect of you and makes you golden. Dion, Monique, you are God's children. You are dearly loved by God. Remind yourselves often of your true identity. Because you see, something profound happens when we're married. Our identity evolves. We take on a new title that we did not carry before. Husband to Monique, wife to Dion. This is a good thing. In fact, I think that suits both of you quite nicely. But that's not central to who you are. Yes, you have been chosen by each other, but always remember that you have been chosen by God and you are loved by God. Sometimes I feel I'm dreaming You're too good to be true I spend all of It is now my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. Dion, you may now kiss your bride. I choose you to be no other than yourself, and I will keep doing that every day from here on out. I love all that I know of you, and I trust all I do not yet know. Monique, I will love you always, and I will be proud to be your husband uh, until death do us part. I vow to amplify the goodness that emanates from within you, and to be your sanctuary when it feels hard to shine. 
I also promise that I will challenge you, but that I will grow with you, and I look forward to the many adventures we will share together. I love you, Dion. I will be your when you're under pressure. I'll carry the weight. Take off all your burdens. They don't need to stay. I know I'm not perfect, but I'll do what I can. Give all that I have, darling. I will be your man. I will be your. Monique, you've been a great blessing to us already in the short time that we've got to know you. We were praying for many, many years that God would bring into his life someone that would just fulfill the extra place in his life that he needed the fulfillment in which you could be. We always hoped and prayed that he would find someone to love him the way he deserves. And Monique, you are such a wonderful answer to those prayers. When I look at um, the Dion coming into the family. It was so nice to see uh, two beautiful people, uh, faith-filled, uh, growing together. I prayed for you, Dion, before I met you. <laughs> so I, I prayed a lot, and now we get to meet you, and it's beautiful. So as only God can do today, two have become one. my hardest times of my life, I go to Monique and she's dedicated and she's the most helpful person. And every other time I can go to her for the hardest challenges to be thrown to me. Monique, I gotta admit, I've never seen you happier. It's really exciting today to be able to see you smile so greatly and Dion, we have you to thank for that. Monique, you've, you've become yourself again. So instead of focusing on beating other people and being the best at this and that, it, it's wonderful to see you be yourself and happy with yourself and with Dion. Monique, as you've discovered, you found someone who is loving, who is kind, who is intelligent, and who is loyal. Dion is a loving person. He cares deeply for the people in his life, his immediate and extended family, and his circle of friends. Dion, you're the brother I never had. It was a true joy to stand with you today and to be part of this sacred event.